Hi, this video is the RF Hair Transplant Restoration Surgery with Zoe. It's a year follow-up and actually it's 10 months. Um, he, this client's a physician himself too and uh, from a different state. Um, he happened to be in town and uh, we did a 10 month follow-up and have some time free. So um, I thank you for allowing me to show at least the eyebrows and up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah. um, the, the result again, he said, you know, it, uh, he saw some uh, previous uh, my video and so because of that, um, now he get the result and um, he want to be able to uh, allow me to show his uh, result uh, on the video. Again, uh, his, uh, it looks really fantastic. He had a procedure done somewhere else, um, but they have very poor density, number one, and then the hairline, um, they didn't bring the temple nor um, the, the uh, it doesn't look natural. Number two, um, the, it has some mini plugs. So I'm gonna show the audience what uh, he looked like before, and that that were, and that with one surgery, with the FU, was that manually done or was it? Uh, uh, it was the artist. It was the artist. Yeah. Okay. So so it's by the machine, and, and again, it's still poor density, uh, and you can see that's the result of it. And it's a lot more thin than that. Uh, I'll show you the other one, and this is what my work um, manually done 100% by the FUE method. And you can see the hairline is lower and more dense. Again, this is by the machine um, and with poor density and you can see tiny mini plugs. And then, so I lower the hairline and I brought in the temple for him. And uh, you can see the extent of how thin the hair was too. And so, a tiny bit of mini plugs here. Anyway, this is where he's a year later. Again, this left hand side, we brought in the temple and we're filming the whole area left side and you can see extents and how thin his hair was and look at that now nice and full density and the guy, again he, he was skeptical when he watched my video too he was impressed but he wanted to make sure he's real uh, but then now being the patient himself um, being client on the other side uh, you know that's why uh, and that was him before and, and a year later and now this is his hair okay can you look up for me a little bit? Perfect. And this is all his real hair. And, and you know, the interesting is he did use a cell, and um, we did in October 3rd to be exact. No, no, December 3rd. Mm -hmm. And uh, three months later, uh, uh, he even showed me his uh, result, his, his excellent coverage and excellent density. So he's one of the early ones. Again, now, what's I found out that you know is the A cell that tend to accelerate the uh, result. Normally, it take a year, but somehow it take a uh, it's a little bit earlier. Again, not everybody gonna have exact same result. Um, this client had a done before, and his still even took a year, but it, to grow in, but with poor density and no the, uh, no artistic and aesthetic detail. So it, for him, with now with a full set of hair, it, he looked completely different. And again, as I mentioned, we lower the hairline, we brought in the temple. We want to make sure that the hairline will frame the face better. You got to be um, proportional vertically and horizontally as well. And when he walks in, I completely, I recognize what he was. But uh, you can see how young he looked uh, because with a full set of hair, I uh, really enhance the eyes, the nose, and all the features that God created for him. And he will look more handsome and younger, definitely. But then, you know, when it frames your face, you look so young, the patient might, uh, might be distrusting you now. <laughs> uh, but that, well, you know, I'll, I'll leave that problem up to you. <laughs> but, uh, but he's one of the, uh, the better surgeons. Uh, actually, he's a GI, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, GI specialist. Uh, so this is the, re the result and uh, a year follow-up. Thank you.